Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on how to read the discord.js documentation. Last video I did got pretty popular attention and you guys really liked it. So I'm deciding to do another one. And today's video, we're actually going to go over role notification. And again, we're going to be utilizing the discord.js docs to do this. So I broke this down into a couple steps on how we'll do this. And with role notifications, what's going to happen is a message is going to be sent in the channel when a specific role is mentioned somewhere in the server. So there's going to be a few things that we're going to need to do to achieve this. First thing is we're going to have to check the mentions in the message and see if a specific role was mentioned. Then we're going to need to get a channel that these messages are going to be sent in. Then the last thing is we're going to actually send that message to the channel with the information such as the message content, the message channel, and a timestamp of when that message was sent. So I have the discord.js docs open. And if you see here in this readme, I have a couple different hyperlinks to get us started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check the mention. So this jumps right over here to dot roles and over here in the message mentions class. This allows you to keep track of mentions in a particular message. This is actually attached to the message object in message mentions. So over here, I have some boilerplate code from the discord.js documentation. Last episode, I didn't really have this because it was a more spur of the moment, but this does happen to be a series and you guys like it, I can definitely continue and build upon this. So that's the first thing that we need to understand. We want to check what roles were mentioned in the channel. So if you come here to message mentions, we have a couple different properties and a method here as well. It's like we went over the difference between properties and methods. Whereas properties tell you about something, the methods allow you to do something. Message mentions, you can get all the particular mentions in the message. In this case, we want to check for roles. Well, the role that we're going to use is I'm going to create here my server. We're going to call this nerd. And we are going to check or whenever this nerd role is tagged. And to get the ID, you can actually put a backslash in front of the mention and this gets you the ID. We're gonna actually get this role by the ID. And using the ID is the best way as it's unique and comparing stuff against something that's more unique is better than just getting the whole role object with the role name. Because even though the role name might change or a color, the ID is not gonna change unless you just straight up delete the role. We're gonna make a new variable called notify role and we're gonna assign it to this role ID. Then here in the roles, collection we just do that get we can actually just check the get we can actually just get that role but we're not actually going to get that role we're actually going to use the that has method the has method simply returns a boolean if that role user or channel was mentioned and you can just provide actual key here so what we can furthermore do we go to if statement simply console.log and go ahead and start the code so if we just type in a regular message, it's just not going to detect. But if I do mention the third role, we're going to get a notification that the role was mentioned. That is actually the first step complete here. So the next thing that we're going to have to do here is we're going to need a channel. Anytime the role is mentioned, we're going to want to send that information to a channel. So I'm going to create a new channel here called For the Nerds. In this case, I'm going to get the ID of the channel because this is a channel that we're going to be using. Make a new variable, assign it to that channel ID. If you want to access now the channels collection for a guild, just do message.guild.channels. You have access to what is the channel cache manager. Discord.js stores everything in the cache. So whenever you're interacting with a role or a channel, you're going to be interacting with the dot cache property. And from here, this is where you have access to the actual collection where the cached channels are stored. In this case, this allows us to get the actual notify channel. So next thing we're actually gonna have to do, we have that channel now and to test it, send a message here. Now I'm using TypeScript here, so I can't actually just tack on send to wherever I want. So I'm gonna have to cast this to a text channel object. Therefore, this is a text channel dot send it here. For future reference, it's best to just make sure that you're actually casting in here in TypeScript because by default, this is just gonna return the guild channel. The guild channels collection stores guild channels, not just text channels, DM channels, or um, news channels. So that's why you actually have to cast a variable, cast a channel that's being returned so you get what you want. Now, go in here and do at nerd again. You get a message that says hello world, which is exactly what we want. We're gonna have to build an embed now since that's, well, that's the last step that we want to do. So to get our embed, we're gonna go over here. There's a class that you can use, which is message embed. If you've been around discord.js for a while and you know about discord.js version 11, you know as rich embed, but now it is message embed. If you've been doing discord.js for a while, you should probably know this by now as the end of life or discord.js v11 is next month. Anyways, here in the message embed, you have access to various properties and methods that you use to update this. And we're actually going to go ahead and import this class. And we're going to create a new variable, embed. And that's what we're going to get started at. Now, on the actual message class, there is various properties that we're going to be using here. So I said earlier, we're going to be getting the, the content of the message, the channel that message was sent in, and then a timestamp. If you guys look through the properties here, you should already know which properties we're going to be using to achieve this. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and start implementing those properties now. For starters, we are going to do set description and we're gonna access a message object once again. And this time we're just gonna do dot content for the description. Then we're gonna add in two different fields. The first field is gonna be channel that the message was sent. For that, we're just gonna do message.channel. And by doing message.channel, this here you're passing in the message object. But since the second parameter in the add field method is the actual value, it's automatically going to be converted to a string. So if you really want to, you can do dot name if you cast it first. Or if you do dot to string, it's going to give you either the channel mention or the channel name. Now, so we don't have to cast this a whole bunch. We're going to do something as well here. We're going to do message.channel.type equals text. So in this case, we don't have to cast this anymore. I automatically define this as the type. And then the last property that we need is a time. And you can do this by doing message.createdAt. that. And you know what? We're going to add one more thing here. It's just going to be a color. And we're going to set this to blurple. Now we have this full embed. We're going to add in a return statement. And we're going to do notify channel at send. We're going to pass in that embed object. Now we're going to save this. I even I have to do this all the case first. And now do the hello or goodbye. That's not going to be sent in the channel. But if we do this, as you see, all the information that we needed is posted. So I forgot to mention why I changed here, but I changed it from set description to add field just so it looks all together and more clean. That completes all the steps that we're doing for this episode to send a message to a channel when a specific role is mentioned. Again, we broke this down by checking for the mentions in that message and seeing if the uh, mentions in that message includes the role. We then got a specific guild channel, guild text channel, which we are sending that message to. And then the last thing that we got and we created was a new embed where we stored all that information and we sent that embed to the guild text channel that we define. Now, we're going to do one more thing here, whereas we have an issue. If I type nerding here, it's going to post in here. I don't want to have any messages post in this channel if they are mentioning the role in this channel. So I'm going to leave that to you guys. This code is going to be up on GitHub. If you want to go and contribute on the GitHub and actually fix this issue, so if a message is sent in this channel, it's being ignored. So that's what I want you guys to go do. You can find the GitHub in the description below. But that's going to wrap up this episode on how to read the Discord js documentation hope you enjoyed it if you guys have ideas on what you want me to do please just comment below leave a like show that you support it take care guys i'll see you in the next one